Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about implementing RFID card reader using Vega Ares V3 board. This video has been presented to you uh, in joint collaboration with CDAC, ISA Indian Electronics and Semiconductor Association and Meta VLSI. CDAC Vega board is version 3 of this board is based upon Tejas ASIC. It operates at a frequency of 100 megahertz. It includes Vega microprocessor, 256 kilobyte internal SRAM, 3 UARDs, 4 SPIs, 3 timers, 8 PWMs and 3 I2C interfaces. It also includes 32 GPIOs. It is a very powerful board. It is designed by Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC. As part, this is developed as part of microprocessor development program project funded by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of, of India. It is completely made in India. It can support a wide variety of applications, low power IoT devices, sensor fusion, smart meters, system supervisors, remote sensors, wearable devices, toys and edu electronic education equipment, industrial networking and many many more such applications. So it's really a powerful board both for learning and actual product development. So let's first think look into getting started. How do you get started? Uh, first you install Arduino and we'll basically show you each of these steps so that you don't have to imagine. Then you go and add additional boards, which is Vega 3 board, which we are talking about, Aries Vega 3 board. Then you install the tools, you set up how to program it. Then you connect the Aries board to PC and then see on the serial monitor. So let's let's look into and let's see these steps one by one to you. Okay, so I have already installed Arduino IDE version 1.8.19. Here is the link from which you can download. The link is also available in the comments below. Now, what do I do is after that, I will go into file preferences and I will paste this link GitLab, which basically is the additional board manager. Okay, so I will paste it. I pasted it here. Then you click on OK. Then you click on tools and go to board manager. So I've already have uh, Aries V3 board installed here. If you don't, you can go to board manager here and then search for uh, Aries. You will get this. And since I've already installed, I'm getting a remove option. But if you have not installed, you will get an install option here. Install the latest version here. After that, you go into tools, boards, Vega processor and select Aries V3 board, which is what I have selected here. Then to program, you also select tools. You select on flash mode enabled. If it is disabled for you, click here enabled. Okay. Then select tools programmer, select Vega flasher. After that, you connect your board to uh, basically a uh, PC. The way to connect is you will have a USB port and on the, on the other side you will get a USB-C port. Then once you have connected in tools, you will collect, select serial monitor. Tools port first you connect COM3 which is COM4 which is Aries V3 port. You will select that. Then in serial monitor, you will select serial monitor and set the baud rate to be 115200. Once you are done with this, you are ready to run your hello world program, your first program on this. Okay, now let us run our first program, hello world program on this. You can get hello world program from here examples you will see specific examples for Aries V3 this particular program is under UART so we'll click here and this is our program hello world program and what we'll do first is first we'll compile it verify compile you keep keep an eye for all these messages here 
for compilation so compilation is done then we'll upload it using to the board so once the what this program actually does is it basically uh, sends sets up the serial port at this baud rate and then it will keep printing hello world after a delay of thousand time units and you can see the messages which you are supposed to see is first it will wait for reset and once a board has been programmed it will issue a message that uploading is completed and you can see the output you click on the serial monitor here and you can see the output here and we can see the hello world message is coming again and again we can change it to something else and we can program it again upload and the messages will change to this from the board so let's see tool serial monitor and we are getting demo by cdac isa and metavlsi the next demo or next work plan which we are going to do is use rfid technology and implement an rfid technology based smart card reader using ares v3 board rfid technology is a or technology or radio frequency frequency identification technology it consists of two main components one is a tag which is the object to be identified and then there is a reader which is in parallel as you can you this is used at a lot of workplaces you might have seen it being used in airports as well so it's pretty handy device and isn't it going to be to be interesting to implement this ourselves so how does this technology work okay so rfid technology when the tag is brought near to the reader the reader will actually generate an electromagnetic field this causes electrons to move through tags antenna and it subsequently powers the chip chip will then respond and send its information back to the reader in form of the radio signals the reader actually will detect this information and will send it to Com computer or microcontroller in our case this will be connected to a uh, vega board uh, for as a microcontroller or a processor or a computer which will read this information let's see detailed pin information of this rfi reader it is it is a mo module based upon an ic from an xp the reader we will connect to aris v3 board using spi protocol uh, you can learn more about this protocol there are multiple resources available for uh, for this protocol and it has various of these pins which are part of this uh, rf uh, rc522 rfid module so let's first look at how we are going to connect these two so first what we are going to do is we are going to connect power and ground pin so this is the power pin in vega board and this is the ground pin and this a will connect to a here which is the power pin this b which is the ground pin will connect to b here on the ground pin then we'll make connections corresponding to the spi protocol so spi pins here here are the spi pins on aries board and we'll connect to these pins here one is sclk sclk so basically miso 0 will connect to miso of rfid mosi 0 will connect to mosi of F rfid and sclk 0 will connect to sclk of rfid then we'll connect one additional pin which indicates what kind of protocol or whether uh, for spi so here we will we'll connect gpio 10 pin of aries board to this particular sda pin of rfid module and then we'll basically use this so code our program to detect this now we have connected our vega board to rfid uh, as per the connections i had demonstrated earlier there is an example program actually available in the examples here if you go in vega examples where it is v3 board examples here in spi you will actually find this read rfid example i have slightly modified it to give me more debug information so let me open that
okay so let's go through this program and then we'll also see how this works okay so what we have done here is i have connected con the connections as per this uh, and then basically your SS pin is connected to GPIO 10, which we had uh, I had shown earlier. And then you have made an instance of SPI class, which is SPI 0. And you also then instance of MFRC uh, F522 you have created it. It is very important to include this so that all the libraries corresponding to MFRC 522 is available. To get to to get the libraries, you can just go to Tool Manage Libraries, and it'll bring up the libraries. And you there you can search for MFRC C2 library and install that particular library. Without that library, so I will install this version 1.4.10 of this library. Without that library, this program will not work because you need programs corresponding to MFRC522 SPA protocol. Initially, I'll just set up, I've set up the serial port for baud rate of this, similar to what I had done for Hello World program, then initiated the SPI bus and also initiated MFRC522. And I've added a debug message that's starting. So basically, as soon as the program starts, this message is seen. In addition to that, what I have done is basically it will print out what is the uh, classic uh, scan code for this and key size for this. Then inside the loop, this is a uh, basically function provided by the li library. It will basically detect whether a new card is present or not. If the new card is not present, I don't need to go anything forward and I'll just return and this will keep running in, in a loop. Then if it card was present, we'll see this message card was present. And then basically we'll read uh, the UID. If I, for some reason you're not able to read the UID, uh, it will return from here. Then it will basically read the UID or the card information that you got and print those messages okay with the tag related information one very important thing which i found was in the, while working on this is it is very important to have these connections proper so i would advise you to use a breadboard to make these connections so now what i'll do is i'll program uh, this code onto the board and see what happens when i bring a tag near to the rfid director so to do that i'll just say uh, upload and the first compile so you will actually see this warning uh, and it's okay if you see that warning library I'm claim to run on this this warning is expected because in its one library this information is not there that it also works with this board so this warning is accepted don't be surprised by this then its reset is done and then the uploading is complete Now on your serial monitor, you can monitor whenever a card is brought near to the uh, to the device, a message will be issued. So I, I'm bringing the card near here and all this ID will be issued. So it will say, okay, you got the card was present, got the UID, got the information that new card has been detected, the related information of tag. If this card was read previously, even that information is being displayed.